Hello, my name is Margaret Adele, and I am not alone here today. Some of you may know that I recently became a foster parent, and one of our new foster daughters desperately wanted to be in a video because kids love YouTube these days. The problem is I legally can't show you her face or tell you her name. So instead, my foster daughter, who has the code name JoJo, because she loves Jojo Siwa, has given me three book recommendations that I will be reading, and I am super excited for it. So, Jojo, what is our first book? Can you hold it up for me? Sisters. Sisters by Raina Telgemeier. This seems to be all about the author's true-to-life story about having a sister and then getting a brother, I believe? Yeah. No, and it's... They're going to be getting a sister. They're going to be getting a sister. Okay. I've seen this one around the elementary school I work at, and it seems a very cute art style. And again, it's a mid-grade graphic novel, so it's probably going to be a pretty quick read. All right. What is next on our list? We got Smile. Smile. Also by Raina Telgemeier, which appears to be all about... Uh, how she accidentally tripped and fell and lost teeth in her very long journey of braces and such to fix her teeth, which I never had braces, so I don't know what that would be like. <laughs> All right, and what is our third book? The Babysitter Club. Yeah, it's back. For all of you who aren't on the mid-grade graphic novel grind, uh, Babysitter's Club is popular again with especially like upper elementary school kids because they have all been re-released as graphic novels now. And I'm super excited. I read these when I was your age. I also read Babysitter's Little Sister a lot. I read that book. You read that one? Oh, I like that. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. So I will be reading all of these in short order and telling you my thoughts on them. I am pretty sure they will be quick reads, because again, MG graphic novels. But I think it is time that we get to reading. Hello, it is time for the reading portion. I actually had to stop myself halfway through. I think I'm at page like 116 right now, because again, it just reads super fast. It's a mid-grade novel, but it's so cute and so middle school, like scarily middle school, like Raina is so nervous about fitting in and it is definitely autobiographical because there are references to like 90s things that you wouldn't necessarily put if you were purposely writing for a modern audience. There's mentions of like constantly playing Mario on Nintendo, which like, yeah, it's still a thing, but it's not as big a thing as it was back then. And one of the other kids like name drops one of the new kids on the block and then it has to have an asterisk to tell you one of the new kids on the block. But it's so cute. And the writing style is just, it's such a good art style. These are so cute. And I'm low-key in love with it. It's very nice. I always love mid-grade for a palette cleanser. I will probably end up reading all of this and maybe one of the other ones in its entirely entirety by the end of today only because I finally sat down and figured out how many books I need to read this month with all of my TBRs put together and it's 11 not impossible but I also have like other review books and other things that I'd like to get to so I am going to race through the quick books if I can and also they're just really enchanting and really easy to fall into but I will check in with you when I am done with this. All right, so I have finished Smile by Raina Telgem Mary Meyer. Raina Telgemeier, I can speak. It was really cute. I especially like the part where she finally tells off all of the friends that had been mean to her and finds new friends that appreciate her. That's one of my favorite moments. There was one part that was a little bit like, oh, I was friends with boys because they were less drama. Like, no, you were just friends with the wrong girls. That was the problem. Uh, so I appreciated that. It's really cute. I have finished a book. I actually finished another book earlier, so I'm doing really well right now, and I will probably be jumping right into another one. Probably Sisters. I'm feeling, I'm feeling some more of the autobiographical stuff. in the crazy hair, but I have another check-in. I missed the halfway mark like I was going to uh, check in at 
But uh, again, it's a really quick read. It's all about a road trip with her sister with some flashbacks to other family issues like their dad losing their job or getting a new brother and all that kind of thing. So it was really cute. Um, it's reminding me a little bit of me and my siblings, not quite as much because I'm not the oldest. I'm the second oldest with everything that implies. So I almost relate more to her younger sister than to Reyna, but it's still really fun. I'm still enjoying it. And I just love that it's a nice quick read. I'm going to get two books read in a day and like another full book read tomorrow, which is great because now I also remembered that I have the Juneteenth readathon, the, the queer blackathon and like, I got to get on it if I'm going to get these books right this month, but I'm super excited and I will check in with you when I have finished this. All right. It is like a whopping <laughs> maybe 10 minutes later at this point and I have finished Sisters by Raina Telgemeier and it was really cute. Um, I am intrigued about their parental dynamics. I don't know if they ended up like getting a divorce or whatever. Um, but that would be intriguing if that happened. I would love to see that like autobiographical graphic memoir, but I have officially got the second book done. All that's left is to do the babysitters club one, which admittedly isn't necessarily the one I'm looking the most forward to because, um, a, there's something about the original eighties feel to the books that I don't think can be replicated in the 21st century. And B, um, it's not multicolored like this one, so it's all black and white, which I mean, like, it's still a, a worthwhile graphic novel to read. But I got another one down, and I will probably start that one and finish that one uh, tomorrow. So I will check in with you then. So, uh, Jojo wanted to hold up the, the book here because she wants to be in it. I am about halfway through the Babysitter's Club. Chrissy's big idea. Great idea. What is it? Um, Chrissy's great idea. Okay. Thank you. Good reading. But, uh, it's really cute so far. It doesn't quite have the full 80s thing. And I'm, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Stacy's caginess in this is because she doesn't want them to know she's diabetic. And like, really? The girls in this series have really diverse experiences. You have one that's like from New York, one that is from a single parent household, one that's from a divorced parent household, which in the 80s was pretty diverse of a cast. And I believe there is one that's Asian American. I don't remember what kind, but it's really cute going by really fast and I'm enjoying it a lot so far and I will yep. have this done. What? I say, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I will have this done before too much longer. So I will check in with you when I have got this all taken care of. And I have finished. Eh, 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 child. <laughs> I have finished the book. We are at the end. They revealed Stacy's diabetes. And I don't remember there ever being like a really big, like, I don't know, hullabaloo or stigma against diabetes. But again, I've also lived with a member of my family that has it. So like maybe there is and I just wasn't made aware. But there's the whole big thing about how like she has to hide it because her last school was so mean about it. And so anyway, um, this is adorable. I'm really glad I read it. There are other in the series, obviously. So, so, so. It is so cute, but I'm so glad I did this. Uh, I've got a lot. I read three book, three books, three books. books in two days, and I'm I'm loving it. I'm feeling super energized, which is great because I got a ton of other books to read this month. So thank you so much for watching. If you've ever read any of these M MG graphic novels, or you'd like to see any other big series come back in graphic novels, because I think this is brilliant, uh, please let me know. Uh, <laughs> And from me and Jojo, we hope you have a wonderful day and a marvelous tomorrow.